Let's go, my name's Dave Geesig. Welcome to the next episode of Star Citizen 3.3.5. We're going to pick up some rare diamonds. We're going to see if we can get this one done. Deliver, delivery ready for rare pickup diamonds. So let's see where we need to go here. Currently, we're at the, the amalgamation of two crossroads. But um, we need to go to Kudra Oil. I don't think it's that far. If it is, we're not going there. I'll tell you that right now. So let's hold on. Let's let's go to where we are here. And uh, let's clear the route nice and easy. So let's just back out of here. All right. So we've got our accepted Kudra oil. And take him to Alisar. Perfect. So we've got that under control. There's our pickup site. Same location. Set the route. Required fuel, very little. Let's go. We're making progress. Now, can we get there from this side? We cannot. So we're going to need to look for a beacon somehow. So how can we get a... Used to be able to get beacons by doing this. Hear me out. So used to be able to get a beacon just by clicking on that. So if that is where we are and we need to get on the opposite side of the world. Does that get us a little bit closer? Let's just see if by doing that, if that gives us beacons to select. Mm, does not appear to, to be just that. So. Let's also, real quick, I want to see how much time do we have for these diamonds. 17 minutes, no problem. That's perfect. That We're right where we need to be. Now, I hope we don't have to deliver them in that timeline, but... There's where we are. Hmm. We kind of need to almost blast out of here. Hmm. Because here's the dilemma, right? We really need something far away from the planet because we're on the opposite side. So, I mean, we could go to Kovalex and then take it from there and see what happens. Clear the route. Go to Kovi. Set it. Right, we're just trying to get it somewhere where we can jump to because I'm not about that coast life right now. All right, so there's the pickup site. Where is, there she is. All right, so we need to exit the atmosphere. Um, okay, fair enough. So before we make that jump though, and we leave, I'm just gonna see if there's anywhere where we can click a little bit closer because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to, to leave and then come back and maybe at a different angle. I know for the time value of money, it's probably the right move. But outside of that, just feel like there should be like beacons around the planet. I know there used to be. I don't know how we get to them now. But beacons around the planet that we used to be able to get to. And maybe we can still get to them. But because we're still in the atmosphere... That's a big no-no. Someone that in the in-game says, I hate how the item shop never loads. So that, I'm just thinking back to when we were in Hurston. Maybe because the item shops didn't load, that's why there was nothing. I mean, it's got to be the 100% explanation of it. But As we do that, let's take a look at the underbody here. Enjoy some of the views. As we pull away. And uh, take it from there one step at a time. All right. So we we made it through the atmosphere. Now we can't get to the pickup site. So let's try this. I'm okay to double spool. I'm glad that that's so fast, by the way. I'm like, it's... It was highly necessary. All right. So this should be a nice quick jump. And then what... A, 
I'll go ahead, I'll flip this thing around. And try to hook back and get ourselves a nice close location here. But we really need to... We go to Kudra Oil. That's where we need to go. Set the route. Damar and then Kudra Oil. Is there anywhere... Basically, what we need to do is we need to get somewhere kind of in between. So what if we go there? And then from there, go around. Or what happens if we just set it at Kudra Oil? Let's see what happens. Because we got to remember, we're on the clock here, too. Damar... I don't know if we just are essentially doing the same thing we just did, but let's find out. There's only one way to find out. It's test. Spool. And then test some more. Alright. We're learning the basics here again. And and when I say basics, I feel like we got the basics. We just need that we have the, the beginner level understanding. We need to get the intermediary out of the way. Oh, please be close. Pickup site. Now. Kudra oil. Set the locale. I believe we're doing it. We're, we're It's being done. Give me the double spool. The triplicate spool. Let's go. Bottom travel. Nice. The rare diamonds are waiting for us. And it's, is it dark side of the moon? It is dark side of the moon. Doesn't matter though. We just got to get the pickups. How close? Oh, that gets us. Oh, let's go. Sub 100 close. I'm so glad they, they changed that from 3.0. Alright, so now we're at 61, 60 th kilometers away. So let's, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go full coast mode. Then I'm going to look at our modifier that allows us to turn on our lights. Because it's going to be, I think, highly necessary. So let's do that while we're coasting here. Key bindings. Advanced flight. It just says three. Lights on, lights off. All right, fair enough. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but let's go ahead and just get the di at this point. Hey, look, let's get the diamonds and get the heck out of here. Yo, no, no, no. All right, one step at a time here. All right, twenty nine thousand kilometers away. We're keep it dead center here it would be interesting if there was a way to like super blast off from planet side all right 20,000 kilometers this is gonna be a little dangerous because we can't necessarily see the turf we can just go off our altimeter which uh, doesn't seem to be completely accurate And let's slow down here. Slow, slow. It's like in the middle of nowhere. All right, take it easy. All right, easy now. Okay, now it's getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer. It all makes sense now. No crash, no crash. Pull up. Okay, now we're just gonna coast in. Coast, 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 coast. All right, cut the engines. Landing gear deployed. Sometimes you need a chip and a chair here. 
Get a little bit closer. We're going to set her down right there. There's a new sheriff in town, boys. Proximity alert. Deck. Don't tell me where we can and can't land. All right, let's... uh. Maybe go a little side step here. Let's move in just a little bit more. Just a little bit. A little bit forward. See, I don't want to... Here's what I don't want. Proximity alert. Port. Proximity alert. Starboard. Launch complete. Proximity alert. Let's uh, let's just give ourselves a little bit of landing space here. I, what I don't want to do is put us put us in a position where we land and we can't get back in the ship. Proximity alert, deck. So let's just. I'd like to move forward just a little bit. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Perfect. Cut the engines, boys. So let's go here and then. Engines offline. How do we do? We've done it. Complete. Launch complete. Landing complete. Turn everything Launch complete. off. Landing complete. Now, if you guys will excuse me, I have some diamonds to collect here. <laughs> All right. Let's get our pick up here. And hopefully there's some diamonds here for us. Get our pressurization going. What would be better than to get a nice load of diamonds, take it home, and not be late for supper? Pick up cargo. Pick up drop off. I'll be picking up. Oh, this used to be on a shelf back in the day. Not anymore. Now we get it firsthand. We had the, the eagle has picked up the egg. Now, my question is, how much time do we have to deliver this? <laughs> Take her back to Alisar. We can stow this bad boy right here. Inspect it. Stow it. I mean, I kind of want to stow it. Very rare diamonds. Deliver diamonds to Alisar. What if we just want to hoard them? Let's see uh, how much time we have on this mission here. Accept it. Alright, it doesn't look like there's any time. So... Let's take a quick second while we can. Oh, that's a that's easy. I don't you know, let's be careful here. I don't want to say anything's easy, but it seems pretty basic. Deliver the diamonds to Alisar. This should pay out 8 billion. All right, where's our flight ready? Normally if you look up, it's flight ready. Exit ship, engine on. Power off. I guess just turn the engine Engines on. Online. Landing complete. Launch complete. We're out of here. Delivery drop off. We're out of here like a herd of turtles. <laughs> We're doing it. One bop at a time. 
All right, good. So that seemed to go fairly well. Let's go ahead and point our nose to the sky, leave the atmosphere, and we'll be back. All right, so we left the atmosphere. It's time to deliver the goods. So let's go back into our handy dandy skyline. Port Alisar, set the route. Get spooled. My name's Dan Giesling, and these house guests are about to get spooled. Let's go ahead. Hold it down. This should be an eat. This should be just basic vanilla delivery money in our back pocket after we drop it off at Ollie. And I think I'm guessing we probably take it to a kiosk at Alisar. Now, let's not get a grudges here. Let's go right to our comm link. Quantum travel complete. Contacts. Ooh, we're not there yet. Let's wait for them to open up. Um Port Alisar. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Well, thank you. It's good to be home. Hurston, it, I like it. It does. It's going to be hard to beat. Oh, I saw. It. Look at that jump. Welcome to. This is not your grandpappy star citizen. Look at that. That ship. Part of me wants to try to slide into the DMs there, but we got a mission to complete. Well, can you imagine this picture perfect landing. We've done it. Warning, you are blocking an active flight lane. Please vacate the vicinity. Excuse me? Shut her down, boys. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Hey, thank you for your time, money, and efforts. Let's go ahead and exit our seats and go put the biscuit in the basket. Let's, let's open this before we get a little ahead of ourselves. Warning. You are blocking an active flight lane. Please vacate the vicinity. Just give me my cargo. Initiating ship storage procedure. Oh. For your safety, please vacate the area. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Do not touch my diamonds. All right. <laughs> Let's go. We look like we have a, a budget Spider-Man suit on, but it doesn't matter. Because we got diamonds and no one's going to hold us up and get in our way. Delivery ready. Pickup. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. No, thank you. Don't mind me. No! Contract withdrawn? You've gained crime stat. I'm guessing because we parked in the wrong area. I can't believe that. Not like that. Anything but not like that. Let's just see if we can still maybe shove it in one of those kiosks. I'm going to... Here's our kiosk. Let's just see what happens. Not ready. Well, I believe there's only one thing we can do. Stow it here for someone else to enjoy. And there's one way we may be able to salvage this. 
Get me out to the deck ASAP. I'm a, I mean, in terms of disappointment in Star Citizen, like, uh, mission-wise, that was a heartbreaker. That was a big-time heartbreaker, but sometimes you got to take that shot to the chops and, and answer the call. Let's go ahead. I just wanted to see if that jump took off. It did. I think it was over here. We did slide into the DMs over here. Nonetheless, we gave it the good old college try. It's good to be back at Alisar. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, clicking the like button helps out a great deal. Please let me know in the front seat and comments below what we did wrong. I'm going to guess it's the parking issue. But uh, maybe that will just lead us to go check out Korea. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.